Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is... Reprisal. You were once a powerful leader of a distant tribe, with the ability to harness the power of the totems of nature. With these powers, you guided your people. Sounds like life was good. Now you have been cast aside by three tribes who are at war, and have scattered your people and the totems across distant lands. Alright, life seems slightly less good. And now you must guide your people to become a powerful tribe once again, collecting the totem poles throughout the lands and overthrowing those tribes that stood in your way. Begin your reprisal and reclaim your history. Simple plot, but it will be done. I shall exact my reprisal among the fools that dared oppose me. But in a good way, I'm the... I'm the good guy. So reprisal is a... I guess it's a real-time strategy game. If you've ever played Populous, think Populous. In fact, think Populous... I think it's called Populous the Beginning, or Populous Tribes, or something like that. Very heavily influenced by that game, probably. I mean, I guess it could be a coincidence that they have such similar themes. We're gonna start a new file here. Bam! But, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's pretty heavily influenced. There's 30 levels, it's a great game, it's free, link in the description. However, there is a pay- if you really like the game, and maybe when I get more money I'll do this, um, if you really like the game you can get a desktop version, because there's a web version right now. Supposedly there's more features, I don't know what those features are. But let's just start this up here. We got this guy, I don't- I don't really know who he is. I guess he's my advisor or something, they never really explain it. But, uh... You know, he does the tutorial, essentially. Begin your reprisal. Chapter 1, Baby Steps. So basically, this is, this is the very basic thing here. These are my totem powers over here. Let me stop saying, okay. Oh, they're gonna actually force me to do this, aren't they? Alright, we'll click on Earth, you say. I clicked on Earth. I clicked on it a bunch of times. Oh, I see. You click on... There's subcategories. So you click it here, and then the subcategory appears here. So here he wants me to click on Waypoint, which is this thingy right... Huh. And this power allows you to guide your people to certain places. And they want me to put them right here. So now... Now there are different command lines up here. Huh. These tell you to do different things. Right now I'm going to want to tell them to move to the waypoint. That's actually one of the actions. So, my guy lives in this house right here. He will walk over there, and hopefully I'll be able to reclaim my first totem, which is just, you know, laying here. Dun, 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 dun. There he is. You are a prince among men. Forest totem has been added to your powers. So now I have the power to make forest, though I can't use it yet because the stage is over. That's all I had to do. I just had to collect the totem. Very basic things. Alright, Chapter 2, Earth Duties. Let's get moving. we will need to use the Terraform totem to build the island. Now, Terraform is the most important power in the entire game. By a wide margin. I couldn't even tell you what the second most important one was. Uh, so, there's actually... This right here indicates that there's another tribe on the map, and from now on I think there'll always be at least one other tribe on the map. Ugh, they're making me use the keyboard. The keyboard's a little bit weird, because um, hitting up and down and left and right doesn't go those directions, because there's a diagonal map, but you'll get used to it. <laughs> it's kind of like, well, it's different than Super Mario RPG, because then you just always had to use the di diagonals. But uh, Terraform, so important. Let's see here. Yeah. You use it and it can raise the land. Okay. What uh I I wish I wish you could turn the tutorial off. I've already beaten the damn game. But he's just telling me Minic uh land bridge so that my guys can actually go and destroy the infidels to the south. Yeah. Now up here, battle command. I can click look for a fight. That will cause my people to actually seek out places to take over and people to kill. Good, get out of here. I don't want your help anymore. I already know all this. I'm gonna explain better than you. 
So, the reason terraform is so important, you just saw how that house grew. That house grew because they started a house, like there's a started house, and it had enough land around it to expand. Just upgraded. Just upgraded. Oh, it can't upgrade because of this. You can make land rise, but you can also hit space and make it decrease. Now that there's all this land around here, it upgraded. If you have an upgraded house, then the the people that come out of it... Oh, it looks like they killed them off screen. Oops. The people that come out of it become more powerful. They become like knights and armored guys. Otherwise, they're like farmers, and they're not going to be able to defeat anything. All right, chapter three, fire play. Hopefully soon I won't have to deal with that tutorial guy, but he's probably... He's probably still gonna mess with me a little bit. The tutorial isn't all that encumbersome, which is good. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'd rather explain things myself, damns it. I don't need your help, Carlton, or whatever your name is. Alright, so he's not messing with me. Actually, I guess that's it. Maybe, maybe that was the only tutorial we get, so... You can see on the map screen, you can also move by the map screen. Uh, but I use the directional keys, usually. There's my little houses. Before I do anything, I kinda wanna get a better base. And looks like they don't have much of a base either. The totem that I got, tre like, it makes trees. I don't know if there's any point to doing that. Let's see. It can be a little bit hard to tell where the terrain is in order to make it flat, because it's really, you want as much flat land as possible. The trick, though, is that you just need to click once in the right height, then hold the button down. Do not let the button go, the, right, the left uh, mouse click. And it will make everything even. Like, I'm going here is not stacking up any higher than that original level. And that's really the best way to flatten land. I didn't know that for, like, half of the game, because they don't explain that. There's something you could have explained, Carlton. You just need to hold the button down, and it'll keep the same level. Now, we're on a mountain here, though, so I could either try to elevate everything to this level, or try to lower the other things to that level. Let me see. Let's keep everything on the highest level. Why not? Now, it'll temporarily destroy the houses, but as long as the people are there, they'll build it pretty much instantly. Well, we just want flatness. As much flatness as possible. You gonna give me a castle? There we are. Got a nice fort going here. I kind of wish all the different tribes had different types of buildings, too. That would have been cool. But they all pretty much have the same buildings. Now, this is an early stage. I don't really need to do anything crazy. In fact, my only mission here is to go and get the fire totem. It doesn't... I don't need to wipe out my enemies or anything. Uh, by the way, you might notice here, this is my mana. Every single time I raise a platform, it costs 10 mana. Uh, to lower it, it actually costs 20. So, the more people you have, the quicker your mana goes up. Again, this is so based on, like, tribes, it's ridiculous. Um... This is the... this is their way, waypoint, so that's where they can tell people to gather. But where's my fire totem? My fire totem's right there. So, all I need to do... <laughs> possibly easier said than done... is tell my guys to go there and get the fire totem. However, that's actually not completely true. It appears, and again, they don't explain this, that you can only pick up a totem if you control the area. You can't just walk over and be like, MINE! So, I actually probably do need to defeat these people, because they're not in my territory. The way you defeat things is you have, like, a soldier say, go through a house. They'll fight the occupant. If they win, that is now your house. There's a bit of random chance to it, but generally, a soldier is going to have no problem taking over a regular house. These guys are all pretty heavily upgraded. That guy's like a farmer. He could easily lose, though they're fighting against pretty much farmers anyway, so he might actually win. And no, they're actually not looking for a fight, it's just those houses happen to be in their way. But I got the fire column. I'm guessing that was enough. Yeah, uh, we took over this area so we had influence, and that's it. That's all I needed to do. I now have an offensive power. These are all my totems. I eventually have 15, and then I will reclaim my history. The Big Freeze, Chapter 4. Alright, here's where I'm gonna go into combat. There's no totem to collect, it's just, these guys are jerks, and it's time to begin my reprisal. The Water Tribe will live again. I'm assuming we're like a Water Tribe, because it looks like, just based on the colors, it seems that there's Earth, Fire, Wind, and... and Water. It's weird, though, because there's no... 
real water powers. I mean, I guess there's a few that could be considered water powers, but they're in the wind category. So, <laughs> it's just odd that our tribe doesn't have any official powers. But they are our totems. We didn't we didn't steal them. No, no, no. They're ours. They're ours. Don't doubt it. Just trying to make a flat surface here. This will give for large amounts of expansion. And then I need to lower it to this uh, up. Let's lower it to this level and hold it. And it'll lower everything to that level. And it's going to destroy all those houses, but they'll be rebuilt and they'll be even better. At least that's the hope. Wish they'd built a little bit farther out. <laughs> there we go, that's what I wanted to say. Give me that mana faster, then I'll be able to clear everything. Now don't build up there. Don't. Ugh. Waste! You just wasted your time and your life. Okay. It's already much better. I got two big houses. Oh, excellent. That is what I like to say. Let's check on my enemies, shall we? Oh, I'm at the top of the map. Alright, they're over here. There's no one in the center. So there's two islands, and we're separated by a land bridge that I'm going to have to build over to. I guess I've already kind of started that, though, inadvertently. Yeah, Got a lot of mana now. Let's make nice, flat surfaces. Here is, uh, oh, I don't have enough mana to show you forest, but I'll show it. Note, right now it's on, um, like, that's look for a fight. This is make settlements. You need to have that clicked for people to start building. I do not believe they will build otherwise. Of course, you don't need to build settlements. You can also take over other people's settlements. Both are acceptable ways to expand your empire. But I want to go this way. I just want to march over there, because we have some high-level troops, and I don't think they do yet. So if I can actually make a land bridge kind of fast, that'd be great. Alright, they're over there. So, select waypoint. Come over here, guys. I'm gonna try to pull some guys over here. Let's keep on filling in these gaps. Very nice. Once they get over here, start building. There. <laughs> Expanding my influence nicely. Select waypoint. How about you go right here? Is there... yeah. How about you go right there? And let's make sure they can actually get over there, because I'm not sure they can right now. There we are. <laughs> I'm helping them by flattening the land nest of their house, and they're getting bigger houses. Bigger homes are very hard to take over. Even higher level soldiers, the first three are probably going to get defeated. But it's a good thing for you. There, I just accidentally made a house. Damn it! how am I ever going to get past that? Hmm... If only I obtained some type of ultimate power that could tip the scales. Once I get enough faith, belief in my power... FUEGO! This is your first attack spell. It causes a arc of fire to randomly go around and destroy buildings, and if they walk in the way, people. You can't control it once it's launched, however, but notice I just decimated that place. You'll also notice that these fields are red. Those count as scorched earth for purposes of building. It's like it's not flat land. And those can be getting rid of, but the computer never gets rid of them for whatever reason. Alright, I'm telling them to look for a fight so they actually go over here. But yeah, you don't just need to use troops. You can soften them up in other ways. However, they're, they've built their little civilization on very uneven land, and they don't seem to be flattening it. And since we have high-level troops and they're all farmers, we're going to crush them beneath our heel. In a polite way, because we're, we're the good guys. We will calmly massacre them. And for justice. Go get them. Get them! Ha <laughs> ha! Ousted. Take that old man, who was clearly evil. Oh, we're coming on them now. It's time for battle. Let's help him out a little bit, shall we? By burning fields! Oh, we're th <laughs> they're getting swarmed. Ha! Drop that one right on his house. You gotta be careful, though. The fire can't hurt your troops and your houses. <laughs> ah, it's the power of nature. It's not biased. It'll destroy anything that it goes up against. No, it's a little bit biased, considering I'm controlling it to an extent. 
I'm at least the ignition source. Ha! There must be at least a house or a troop left. Oh, by the way... Trees! Trees are coming. Yeah! I don't think that does anything. Like, nothing useful. It's just an ecstatic thing as far as I can tell. I don't think having trees on your island actually matters. Maybe it does. Maybe you build houses faster if there's trees as possible. I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, flash ya Looks like there is a lightning totem here. Once again, the only requirement for these stages is to get your damn totem. So, let's rack him up, and I'm starting with a decent amount of mana this time. Flip you up. We're also starting at a very high elevation. Hmm. Whatever. Now, if you hit the top here, you notice it just filled in all the ones on the bottom. That still only costs 10 mana, so be careful how you do it. Like, there's a way to accidentally not fill in all the ones at the same elevation, and that'll use up a whole bunch of mana. Like that. You just saw there's gaps. I didn't do it right. But it happens. There we are. Starting to get a little bit flat here. That's really why you, like, whenever you start a stage, you just want to at least get a little bit of a base, a few good buildings. Uh, it's not that important in the beginning stages, because no one's going to come over and, like, there. <laughs> That's the wrong way to do it, but it's hard sometimes. Uh, you just want to get enough big buildings so that if a tribe is starting right next to you and they come over, they're going to have a hard time wiping you out. Because if you lose all your buildings and people, you lose. Looks like I just need to merrily prance over here. I think it's a little bit early to set my waypoint. Let's get a few more buildings. But just a few. We're almost good. These stages aren't meant to be very hard. Yeah. Also, this looks like it's elevated back here, but it's not. It's below it. And I guess I did that so you could see what's happening, but it's very visually confusing. Like, that's one of the only problems I have with the graphics. Yeah, it's not elevated. It's... it's... devated. Yeah. How's that? How are you liking that? Now, do they have any big buildings? They don't. Let's just march over here and see if we can collect this. Waypoint... Set. Let's go and get that totem. Yeah, they've got nothing. These fools are building in a mountain. Look at that! They got, like, little teepees going. I've got gigantic fortified structures. Get them! Oh, someone got into a fight, and I won. So I have armor and big swords. I'm really not talking like we were oppressed, am I? Well, you know what? We were oppressed. We're just angry. And it's making it seem like we have major rivado, bravado, and I'm violent, but... Well, I am violent. But they started it. Remember that they started it. Now, I think... Maybe I put in the wrong place. Let me see here. I'm starting to think I was wrong about needing to control the area. I was totally wrong about needing to control the area. I was probably just confused, because I never clicked in the right spot. <laughs> there, I didn't need to wipe out that mountain settlement at all. I just took the power that was rightly mine. Reprisal begins. Okay, those were the first five stages. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it at the first five stages for now. You know, I want to test the recording and stuff. So I'll do five stages each time? Hmm. Let's do one more. Just one more. That's gonna... Because the, 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 like, the stages after this are gonna be so much longer. Alright, so apparently the Swamp Totem is here. The Swamp Totem... One of the best attacks in the game, which is hilarious because this is the third attack that you get. I always love it when that <laughs> when that happens in games. I'm just always like, uh. it's like, did you realize what you were giving us this early? Maybe not. Admittedly, it's actually weird because it's actually much more useful later in the game than it is this early in the game. It's so destructive, and there are some powerful units later and. The Swamp Totem is one of the only ones that can kind of guarantee their destruction very easily. Uh, it's great for attack and defense. Like, I love it. <laughs> it's probably my favorite attack. It doesn't even cost as much mana as some of the other crazy attacks. 
Which means you can do it like three times, like really fast. Oh well, you'll see what it does later. Yeah, let's just build up my land. The other reason, of course, besides getting attacked, or defending against attacks, that it's really important to build up your, your land and get a bunch of peoples. The more people you have, the faster your mana goes up, and mana's really important. <laughs> yeah. Well, they started me on a nice flat surface. This is gonna go fast. Just need you to keep on building seed houses, and I will keep on building land. Yeah. Let's let that build up a tiny bit and check out my enemies. Oh, you've actually got a fortified structures. So might actually be slightly harder than before. Of course, I could just waltz over there and take what is mine, but... Let's destroy them a little bit. They need to know to not mess with me. I need to think of a cool tribe name, though. I don't know what our tribe is called. Something to do with water. The Aqua Tribe? That seems a little bit pedestrian. The Aquafina Tribe? That sounds really commercial, but somehow that amuses me. <laughs> that amuses me a lot. <laughs> that amuses me too much not to do it. We're the Aquafina Tribe. Go Team Aquafina. We have all the water that actually comes from tap water, but you will pay for it. Ugh, I shouldn't talk. I buy gallons of water. I never buy Aquafina, though. Because that's... that's actually bottles. I buy gallons at the very least. Still a waste of money, probably, but at least it doesn't taste like chlorine. Let's go. Look for a fight. Uh, let's see. Perhaps I should summon the power of wind. This is actually a pretty great attack, too, and it doesn't cost all that much. Vinta Servitas! Lightning! Great for, like, surgical strikes, causes large amounts of scorched land so that they can't build on it. Happens fast, pretty much guarantees that it'll destroy whatever building you're directly aiming over. Better than fire, I gotta say. It does not, however, as far as I can tell, kill humans. It's only for buildings. And it looks like there's a fortified structure right on the place I want to go. I mean, there was. There was a fortified structure. Not anymore. Set waypoint. Go to waypoint. Yeah. <laughs> We're fine. Oh, this is so much easier than the first time I played. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this blind so there actually would have been a chance of my defeat. But I'm probably not going to lose throughout this entire LP, no. Oh, well, you never know. You never know when you start a new game if you should practice it or not, or just play it. Um, where's the Swamp Totem? I thought it was there. No? What's going on? Why you move here? By the way, you saw the, he's actually the leader right now, and you get a leader by having them go to your waypoint. But, for the most part, there's no effect of a leader at this point in the game. Yeah, whatever. You guys you guys don't need to actually fight. You just need to go to the waypoint. Get my swamp totem so we can get out of here. No? Am I just not putting you guys in the right spot? You know what? Fine. Destroy the city. We'll deal with this in a second, then. Maybe I was right and I do need to influence the area. Or maybe it's just that they can't have influence in the area. It's not that I need to influence it. That's also possible. Well, we definitely control the area now. No doubt about that. So go to my freaking Swamp Totem already. Go to it. Do it. Yeah. Oops. It's <laughs> not what I meant to do at all. Whatever. It's possible that I'm just not putting in the right spot because it's there. Maybe I just wasn't putting it in the right spot. I don't know. But it's mine. One of the best attacks in the game in my humble opinion. <laughs> okay. And the stage is complete, and I've probably mostly wiped out the Foolish Fire Tribe. I should name all of the tribes. What's a good name for fire? Oh, it's... Well, I've named my tribe Aquafina. It seems like it should be some type of food or beverage, like hot chocolate. That's too many That's too many syllables. It's two words. Whatever. I'll figure it all out. 
This is Reprisal, Episode 1. Next stage, we'll go to Island Hop, the seventh chapter, and I shall continue my reprisal and become the ultimate tribe, regaining my power in totems. Ugh. That day will be grand. It really will. And I'll see you next time.